Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a radio on your own. You know, soon everything will become digital and you cannot receive anything uh, via the old analog system in the future. So grab the chance while you can and make yourself an analog radio just for fun, just like your father used to do, you know, or your grandfather used to do. I'm gonna show you how to make a radio that really works in less than five minutes. It's gonna be great. Just watch this. Alright, what you're going to need is a LM741 operational amplifier. You're going to need a 200k um, resistor, a 220 microfarad uh, electric uh, capacitor, and a 15 pico, uh, picofarad capacitor, and a 47 uh, pico capacitor, and a 10 nano capacitor, and a yeah, 20 to 200 PF variable capacitor, a breadboard, and a 100 ohm speaker. That's all you're going to need. Of course, you're going to make yourself a coil, but you can make any coil you want to. This one has about 14 windings and around a one and a, a two and a half centimeters tube. But you can t try anything, really. It's mostly going to work. I'm going to show you. All right, let's start. I'm going to start by inserting the chip, which is an operational amplifier. I'm going to add the output, which is going to be um, going to pin 7 to the speaker. And I'm going to add some electricity and voltage to it to pin 7. No, pin 6. Sorry, pin 6. Like that. 7 is the output. I'm going to insert a resistor between the input and the output. The output is number 7, pin 7, and the input is pin 2. And I am going to um, add a um, 10 nano capacitor to the input and I'm going to add a uh, the coil between earth and the input Earth is number four, the pin number four on the LM741 chip. And uh, I'm going to add a 15 PF to the antenna. As you can see here. And an additional um, four, 47 PF going directly to Earth in order to make it a little bit more selective. So I'm going to Earth that one, you know just to make it a little bit more selective. You'll, you'll hear why later on. All right, I'm going to add an antenna to the outer reach of the 15 picture pico fired. And I'm going to add the electricity now. I'm giving it 9 volts minus. And I'm adding this one, the other part of the coil. I am adding to um, Ah, I don't have to do that. I've already done that. That's because I have a three-part coil. And that really... Oh yeah, and I have to add the capacitor, the variable capacitor, in order to adjust the different frequency I want to receive. So I add that one between the earth and um, the antenna and the coil. The last thing I want to do now is to add the 100 ohm... Um, speaker. I'm going to add that to the output. You know, red one goes to the plus output of the electrolytic capacitor and the other one to the earth. Now I'm going to add the final voltage and it should work. Alright. Let's see if you can receive any stations. Alright, let's see what's wrong. It doesn't do anything. What am I missing here? Uh, that's all here. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> missing the final earth. Right. It's less than five minutes anyway, so here you go. There you go, that's the last earth.
as you can hear, there's now radio, and you can, depending on what kind of antenna you have, you can receive all kinds of stations. This is a very simple crystal-based uh, receiver. It doesn't use the crystal as per se, but it's the way they used to make crystal radios in the olden days. I'm just using an app operational amplifier to make it a little bit easier. But that's how simple it is. And if you need to know the components, just rewind your video and start from scratch. That's very simple. And that's how you make a radio, folks.